Hey guys, welcome back to the Dermacom channel. And uh, I know this is this is January 31st, 2017. For those of you who are in Australia, I apologize. We've rolled over to February, but we're going to find out why that's important in a little bit. Uh, I'm, I'm meeting my own personal deadline for my own resolution, which was uh, having a video out on my main YouTube channel, Dermacom, equal to the month number. So January, there'll be one. February, there'll be at least two. March, there'll be three. So we're sliding into home base right now just to get through January. And uh, I really have to give an unbelievable amount of thanks for the channel restarting to Robert from Fantasy Grounds and Dave from Gamers on Games, both of whom have given me some things that we're going to be collaborating on and, and we're going to be... and. I love collaboration, so um, we're going to be doing some uh, deeper dives into some role-playing games on this channel, which we kind of haven't done quite so much, and uh, we'll be taking a look at Fantasy Grounds to make that happen. So again, special thanks to both Dave and Robert. Thank you guys uh, for kind of setting me on my path to get this channel back up and running. Uh, so again, collaborations, I love them. I'm apologize that I'm having to reference my notes, but I know this is going to be kind of a longer video. You hobbyists out there who like to have something to listen to while you're painting, this is the video to watch um, or, or to listen to, and you can kind of stay focused more on what you're working on. So collaborations, I love them. A huge reason that I actually am into YouTube is just all the collaborative work that I've done over the years. I've met a lot of really incredible people, and I'd love to see that continue. Uh, so if I'm in town, in your town, and you're like, hey, maybe we can get him to come collaborate with us, typically the answer is yes. And if it's something that I can collaborate for, with you from afar, again, typically the answer is going to be yes. So don't be afraid to ask. Uh, when I do collaborate on a video that is um, where it's more of a partnership um, and we're actually kind of really doing an exchange. We're, I'll try to set up a logo on one of these corners of the screen um, to let you know that it's actually part of that collaboration. And without a doubt, everything that I talk about in my videos and everything that we do from a collaboration standpoint will be included in links in the description area. So about this area, my house went through some unbelievable amount of water damage and we have only recently recovered from it. And while I'm not filming in my dining room, which was going to be probably the thing that uh, was going to happen if this room hadn't been finished in time, uh, there's a lot of work to be done. And when we finally get some of this other work done, we'll be moving this into a new uh, office slash game room. And uh, that's when the videos are going to just be crazy and awesome and fun. The goal, of course, is to try to get that done. By the end of April, I don't know if I can do it or not. Um, I'm heavily reliant on uh, getting the right contractors in to assist. So please, uh, please excuse the background. It's kind of plain Jane right now, and this might be we might film here, we might film abroad. Again, we'll be getting into some of that later in the video. Let me see if I go. Um, so I'll be honest with you, a little nervous about making this video. I know that YouTube recalculates subscriber counts. I'm sure it's going to drop uh, because I, I just haven't really done any videos for a year and a half, and that's going to change. And um, again, we're uh, we're working on, and when I say we're, I do mean it's a multi-person, um, not necessarily people in this channel, but a lot of, again, collaboration work uh, to, to make some really interesting stuff moving forward. Uh, this table, uh, I'm going to show photos of it right now, is my new gaming table that I built. It all started from me going out to Black Friday, finding a TV that was ridiculously inexpensive and being inspired uh, by some YouTube videos about how they had built their own uh, gaming table and, and wanting to do some more role-playing game. Got the TV and I just sat down and designed out this table and I love it. It's a fantastic table. I haven't had a chance to, uh, I have gamed on it, but I haven't uh, utilized the, the TV just yet. Although um, I do have HDMI ports coming in from the side of the table that go straight to the TV. All the cables and whatnot are hidden and this table breaks down to three pieces. Otherwise it's real, it would be rather heavy and kind of bulky to move into different areas. 
but because it does naturally break down into three pieces, uh, when the gaming room is, it, or my office is complete, this will be moving into there. And again, I guess I'm just really excited about that part. So I apologize if I repeat about it uh, quite a few times. Okay, so I told you about that we're going to be doing at least one video per month number on this primary channel, but that um, that would imply that there's more than one channel, right? So if you're new to the Dormicom channel, first off, um, what you can expect here, rules, tutorials, reviews, battle reports, and other videos that we're going to be testing out that will be with quite a bit more polish. Uh, there may be some painting videos, and that's because the bottom line is um, I I just I just have too many miniatures, <laughs> and uh, uh, really getting into bushido, so I might uh, break open and finally sit down and start doing a little bit more of the hobby aspect, and uh, so there might be some hangouts, uh, but we might also do some hangouts on the next channel, which is the Dormicom blog channel, and that's more of behind the scenes content that did or, or stuff that um, wasn't quite at that super top level uh, of quality so I was like you know what but it was still a decent video let's let's throw it over there um, how many videos will show up on that channel I, I don't know it could be one month we dump just a ton of videos over there and another month one um, I don't know uh, sweetie sweetie shh, 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 shh. You're, you're going to be on the show soon. You're going to be on the show soon. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. The third channel and final channel is the Six Sided Films channel. Um, we in the past have done animations, but we might actually do some comedy shorts. I really don't know. It could be, I could be completely telling you about this channel that gets no attention this year. I would expect though probably one or two videos there for the entire year. So again, this gives you kind of a sense of the, the quantity of videos you're going to get if you subscribe to each one of the channels. And um, so I'm, I'm hopeful that you come out and subscribe. Uh, but at the same time, you know, enjoy the videos however you want. Uh, we are just going to be making videos that we find a whole lot of fun. Hopefully you'll be like, hey, that looks like fun and come take, take, a, take a break with us. All right. Uh, I got to look at the next piece. Oh, okay. Yes. And my other, so outside of gaming and outside of doing you know, gaming like activities, whether it's, you know, miniatures or board gaming or card gaming or whatever, um, I'm big into animal rescue. And so you might see some of my puppies that I'm fostering in any one of the three channels. Give me a second. So this is an example of one of my foster puppies. Her name is Spirit. And uh, I work with one of the rescues called Hope Animals, uh, Hope Animal Rescue. And you can find all, again, the links to everything down below. Uh, depending on when you see this video, you too uh, might be a proud owner. She's a sweetheart. She's a little eight week old German Shepherd mix. Um, very, very, very sweet. But again, so you may see some of this on any one of the channels on top of which uh, if I get an opportunity to I'll be doing a few videos over with Hope Animals uh, YouTube channel. So just want to let you see that real quick. This definitively is my year of living Kickstarter dangerously. Uh, I am backing six, five or six that might be coming in this year. Um, starting in a no particular order, uh, Kingdom Death Monster. Really excited about this game at, to the point that I'm actually making a special trip. <laughs> um, flying to Atlanta just to hang out with James Home and Tim Korkleski and get in my first game. So yes, I backed it. I had never played it. I heard such amazing things about it. I got to give props to Beasts of War. They did an excellent job of uh, presenting the game in such a way that I was like, yeah, sign me up. I'm, I'm interested in that. Uh, the next one is Mage Premium Sleeves. And this was specifically uh, backed to so that I could sleeve all the Kingdom Death uh, cards what, and whatnot. They had a, a, a follow-on Kickstarter. Kind of the timing was a little bit on the perfect side. Uh, beyond that, we also have Siege of the Citadel which is Mutant Chronicles board game. I purchased the original board game. 
It was a phenomenal game. Unfortunately, over the course of about five or six moves, I the pieces went missing or and the box kind of disintegrated on me. So um, I don't have the original anymore, uh, but I had such fond memories. I, I can't wait to get that game in. Uh, a card game called Fugitive. I'm really excited about that. Reaper Bones 3 is going to be coming in. So uh, I'll finally actually have some paint to use for... Uh, painting up some of these miniatures. I bought some uh, P3 paint. I'm going to get uh, the uh, Reaper stuff in. And then lastly, I, I do have an airbrush. I've never used it. Uh, I really am excited. But that might be one of those things that you see a lot on the Dormicom blog channel because um, it's going to be a learning curve. I'm certain of it. And then the probably the biggest risk of any of the Kickstarters is Dark Age Outpost, which is some scenery. It's all plastic and stuff. And uh, I originally purchased it for, um, and this is my segue into this, my nephew is getting into YouTube potentially this year. He just got, uh, his mom just got him a computer that uh, will do sufficiently for uh, filming videos. And uh, originally I got the, Dark Age Outpost scenery for him. It's been, it's been delayed so significantly. Um, I don't know if I missed the window to give it to him. If everything works out, we will likely still leave that scenery over at his house so that if we do miniature wargaming over there, we have something that we can use right off the bat without much effort. So, and again, my nephew is likely to throw in his hat into making some YouTube videos. He doesn't have a channel set up, so I have nothing that I can tell you about that just yet. Um, but it, he's also going to cameo over here and kind of give a younger perspective on the games that we play. Uh, we goofed around recently because I wanted to him to, him to kind of get a little bit m comfortable around speaking to an audience or and whatnot, or at least uh, get the feel of both in front and behind the camera. So I'm going to play a little video right here, with which is us just kind of goofing around doing a little spoofy comedy short. I hope you like it. Uh, the kid is just an amazing kid. Hey guys, welcome back to Domicom channel. Do you have a problem knowing your left from your right? Me too! Let me show you how we get it done. All right, the first thing you need is a permanent marker and an internet connected device. We're gonna go ahead and log on to uh, google.com. Uh, click over to the top right hand area where it says images. Type in the word left and hit enter. Then you take your hands, put them on either side of the monitor. And the hand that has the most arrows pointing at it, bing, is your left hand. Now that we know which hand is the left hand, we take our permanent marker and we write the word left on the back of that hand. Uncle Brian, what are you doing? I I'm teaching the audience how to know the difference between their left and right by writing left or right on the back of their hand with permanent marker. Permanent marker? Yeah. Put the marker down. Okay. There's a better way to do this. How? Give me your hands. Do you know what the first letter in the word left is? It's an L. Good. Put your palms down. Extend your thumbs. Okay. Now, doesn't this look like an L to you? Yeah, it does. So this is your left hand. No way. Yeah. Okay, and and this kind of looks like a J. So this is my Jar Jar Binks hand. No, I did not say that. Oh, because this is my justified hand. Sure, whatever. Uh, wait a minute, what happened to my right hand? Okay, so... Again, that's my nephew, uh, and please welcome him to the channel when he makes his appearances here. Um, let's talk a little bit about uh, rules on this channel, and specifically with comment etiquette, no cursing. Um, disagree with anything that you'd like on this channel, and, and bring up some good arguments, but if you can't do it without resorting to cursing, I'm just going to delete you. And I'm letting you know this up front. Uh, I want this to be a family-friendly channel. Uh, if you want to to find me kind of being a little blue or, or being a little raunchy or whatever, uh, go find me at other places. But at the, for the Dormicom channel, I want this to be a family-friendly kind of uh, deal. Um, 
The other thing is pull up if you're about to poke fun of someone's characteristics or mannerisms. Disagree with what they say? Sure. Or even rage against it. That's totally fine. Um, but this isn't a Comedy Central roast, so tread lightly, okay? Other than that, and, and again, I, I welcome criticism if you have something you're like, hey, you should be doing this, this, or whatever. Throw that in the comments. I welcome it, right? Nothing... You, it's it's always easier to improve your channel when you get a little bit of constructive criticism and whatnot. Um, but seriously, other than that, please come out, have fun uh, with what we're doing on this channel. So all of the links to the things I've talked about are in the um, description area below. And this includes links to Gamers on Games and Fantasy Grounds. Um, and again, Watch for my next two videos in February. Uh, a, a couple of other thank yous I want to say real quick. A um, uh, quick thank you to James Ho for helping me with uh, the Kingdom Death Monster, um, selecting which things I was going to purchase so I didn't, didn't completely break the bank on that. Uh, Joel Traveler for telling me about Kingdom Death Monster. Uh, Walt, uh, who runs Impudent Mortal, uh, thank you so much uh, uh, for helping me out with, with, with kind of getting my uh, painting gear together. So I told you about three channels. This particular video is going to be uploaded to all three. So um, if you see that in your, in your queue, you definitely don't have to go out and see all three videos. Uh, thank you for watching this one, especially if you've made it this far. If you, again, please subscribe to all those channels if you can. If you can't, and or you're, you're a user of Facebook, we do have a YouTube Wargaming public group where all the videos are going to be posted there. And um, again, I'm looking forward to collaborating with each and every one of you. If you guys have channels or if you have ideas that you think would be fun to uh, film and put together, let me know about it. Take it easy, guys.